What's going on everybody? It's your boy Taikyo Kills and thank you for tuning in to another video. Now before we begin, make sure you guys smash that like button, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button if you're new here. Now we got another unboxing today. I'm going to be doing the Balenciaga Croc Boots. Uh, the box is massive. It's huge. It's gargantuan. It's freaking titanic. It's megalithic in every other synonym you could use to describe something large, right? Can't fit on camera, can't even fit on my desk to do an unboxing, right? So it's gonna be a little unconventional today. I'm gonna move this huge box to my living room, gonna cut it open, and we're gonna get the unboxing started. All right, guys, so I'll be right back. Bear with me. All right, guys, so this box is obviously huge, and unconventional boxes call for unconventional methods. So. We're bringing the katana back. Now, if you guys are watching me, I actually did one of my first unboxing events with this. I don't know why I did that like it was a reverse plate. So. Wow, there we go. Just open it up like so. Uh, okay, and toss that to the side safely. Don't do this at home, kids, okay? All right. Oh, this is a huge box. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we'll slide it out like this so you guys can see. Yo, I mean, I'm glad they took the precaution to pad the product so it's not damaged in transit. Uh, but holy canola, guys. Like, ah. Oh. Okay, this is a huge box, guys. <laughs> Let's just move this all out of the way. Boom. We'll go ahead and wow, drop that down. Guys, get a look see. Again, these are the Balenciaga Croc boots. Bow! Oh, I cropped it open. Let's see, we got something right here. Nope, that's just the card. Uh, that's standard on a lot of the uh, foreign companies. Uh, when they make the shoes, they actually just put a size card and you just take it right out. Like they're like that on my Bottegas and my uh, products. They come in little, two little dust bags, which is awesome. Oh my God, these things are huge. Okay. Nice, first impressions. Now obviously they have the classic croc silhouette uh, with the kind of like uh, boot obviously jutting out at the top. Uh, these are 42, but now when it comes to actually trying them on, I've never worn a pair of Crocs before, so I can't tell you guys about comfortability at all, but I'd imagine they're pretty comfortable, you know, especially if they're using that EVA, uh, that ethyl vinyl acetate that I talked to you guys about when I did the Sikana reviews. And it's basically a super, like, freaking uh, polymer plastic that's used to uh, make the shoes more softer, more durable, and more comfortable as well. So, all right, let's go ahead and try these on, guys. All right, so here are the boots on feet. Just an FYI to you all, they do run slightly oversized. In fact, they run very oversized, so definitely size down. But I did size down, as you can see, they're actually warping slightly to the left and right. That could be normal, but I could definitely see that playing a uh, part in the wear over time, so that's definitely something to be mindful of. Can walk pretty straight. Uh, the soles and everything are very comfortable that EVA going to work. They're very lightweight So I don't see too much wear on your feet over time in regards to if you're feeling any pain or something from the walking But again, as you can see they're kind of slightly warping on the sides in the front and I did go a size down I thought about actually returning these to go another size down. I was just like, you know what? It's not worth it. You know, they feel fine They're not flopping all around when I walk. They just do that slight warping there So again, that is something to keep in mind if you you guys want a more fit snug look all right so before we close out today's video i thought it'd be pretty important to give you all a close-up look of the boots now again these come with two balenciaga dust bags in which i highly recommend you use a lesson i learned with my bottega veneta rubber stripe boots is dust and rubber are not good mixers all right even if you're just sitting your uh your boots down on your shoe rack make sure you guys use those dust bags or you're going to regret it all right so here's another look at the balenciaga crocs more of a top view with that classic croc silhouette now if you go up to the top of the boot shaft here you'll actually see the balenciaga name debossed up top which is pretty cool they've also got some frankenstein stuff going on with the boots that actually concerned me at first because i didn't know that was like the standard until i obviously you look and you say oh okay that's normal it's got a line going straight down on both of them which i'm assuming was used to kind of mash the two halves of the boots together 
here is a side uh, view of the boot and again this is made from ethanol or ethyl vinyl acetate which is super lightweight polymer uh, it's really durable now these are in stark contrast to the rubber uh, Balenciaga trop uh, trooper boot excuse me which scuff really really bad uh, so I've seen like so many pictures of the Balenciaga trooper boots really scuffed up these will not scuff as easy because they're not just rubber they're also EVA all right uh, so if you look on the back they've also got that uh, line going down the middle they've got the sizing on the bottom you can see I have a 42 normally I am a 43 but I went and sized down on a 42 I don't know why they put those sizes on the outside I don't like that I feel like that was unnecessary and I've seen other boots like that I just feel like you know you could have put it somewhere else other than the outside of the boot but again here's another look i'm kind of zooming in so you guys could see the rubber but i mean it, it's just rubber there's it's nothing really special about it aside from the eva and it's not like there's some kind of s tier super rubber and like a a tier super rubber or something like that um so again pricing wise these boots go for 8.95 retail but you can search around a lot of places and find them for cheaper brand new uh you got places like self ridges i've seen some on grill but grill they are they're just cracking heads bro i haven't seen these for anything other than a grand on grill so don't overpay for these all right everyone so that's gonna do it for today's video i appreciate you all for tuning in with me let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the boots uh, i know they're a tad on the avant-garde side definitely not for everyone but if you're willing to take just a slight bit of risk i think they're worth it uh about an eight out of ten for me personally worth the cop and again you can find these at various price points uh as low as 5.95 all the way up to retail 8.95 just got to do a little bit of digging, all right? I uh, appreciate you all once again. Make sure you guys follow me on all my socials. Tycho Kills has been real. I'm out, Cheryl.